Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Summation. Welcome back to another video. So today I made a little over seventy three hundred dollars trading Tesla puts. Um, this was a strategy that I discussed in my advanced trading webinar yesterday. Um, let's jump into the video now and let me break down this trade and uh, you can take home the strategy that I used and it's one of those strategies which works quite a lot um, especially around the big levels so let me just quickly break this down so you guys can use this in your own time as well okay so this was my trade today <coughs> I shot it when we were coming up to this mark 900 now let me actually show you in the pre-market what I was seeing okay so this was Tesla we were really really uh, weak yesterday um, we pushed up in the morning then we pretty much like gave back fifty dollars uh, so the high was 935 and we are opening at 9 8, 875 ish somewhere around here um, that's fifty dollar gap down right like that's kind of not a gap down but still a fifty dollar move lower so I saw that stuff happening and I was like okay um, if 900 is a big level if we head to 900 now there's a big chances that we will see a reject right so <clears throat> I was watching this area for a reject and I was pretty confident big only because we were we were weak this was what was going on so I was expecting something like this but I still had a small profit targets but let's just break this trade down this is why uh, I had this trade of watching Tesla for the downside but let me just quickly break this trade down so on a five minute chart when the market opened we saw the market opened we started pushing higher that's fine everything's good but now we are coming to 900 now so if this is a 900 level I saw it go above 900 then reclaimed and this the moment it reclaimed around here that was where I entered my puts and my profit target was you guys can see in the pre-market we were holding this area this morning this level was pretty strong and even yesterday we had this area pretty strong you guys can see this 890 was really really strong area so I was watching this 890 just to take my profits so I entered at 900 and I was able to get out around here now where I actually how my egg how I executed this play let me show on a one minute chart that's my cat I don't know why she upset <laughs> okay so we saw a push above 900 but the moment it started coming down now I know because we had a big move up and we have to see this is how I see breakouts as if a breakout's happening from a further down the line and it's coming and it straight away breaks out that's most of the times is a false breakout right so I knew that if we get below this area or if the tape or level 2 showed me some strength uh, showed me some weaknesses I will play the downside no problem and this was my total mindset of why I was even looking at this play at that time even even when we broke so the moment we broke below right here a little bit I saw the weakness I entered a little bit entered some more size here so my stop loss became the the highs so this became the stop loss and this was my entry this was my uh, exit so it was a good risk to reward so I executed had no emotions and we kind of stayed around here which was pretty fine pretty usual after especially a big level like this and now we started coming down the moment we came around this level I could see some big orders sitting at 890 on the level 2 I saw a big stacks of different orders sitting at 890 and I started taking some contracts off I took some contracts off and then price really reversed really quick and I was taking my contracts off and I was out by the time this candle was nearly like around here I was totally out of my position now I had this another thing which I think I should have caught this move later on in the day as well now if you guys can see here we broke this level but why we, we came we consolidated a little bit and then we broke right and then we broke but in this case we just came above broke out straight away no consolidation we want to see a consolidation right and that was my reason why I entered inputs 
I should have waited and stayed around and this was a good play I was I was just not at my desk I was I would have caught it um, I, now I'm seeing the charts this trade was really good this is a clean example of let it break out and let it retest and the entry of the retest would give you a beautiful risk to reward rather than you trying to do breakouts so this was my little tray i hope you guys learned something from this if you did throw it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification i have a lot of videos educational videos coming out very very soon um, and i'm pretty sure everyone will benefit from them if you guys enjoyed this video throw it a thumbs up thanks for watching guys